Hi, today I would like to talk to you about um, setting boundaries with a narcissist. And um, what came to me today, and, and a realization that I've had before, is that um, narcissists have boundaries. They have lots of boundaries. Um, and when we try to set our own boundaries with the narcissist, um, they will often, you know, um, make some excuse why they can't follow it, or they might act like it's troublesome or like, oh, they have to now worry about like trying to follow your rule. And it's, you know, they'll make it sound like it's uh, a kind of a burden to them. Um, <clears throat> And, you know, the truth is that um, if you've been brought up by a narcissist, that you were um, unknowingly following all their rules and boundaries. And many of them, of course, are un unhealthy. So their boundary might be um, in our conversation. I do 80% of the talking. That might be their boundary. And so when you go to say, Hey, you know, like, you know, um, you know, I'd like a more reciprocal kind of conversation, a little more balance. Um, you know, they might, they might act, you know, like offended or, um, you know, um, something like that. So these are the kind of, um, of, of things that, um, you know, stop us from, from setting boundaries is, is thinking that, um, you know, that we don't have that right to, to voice our needs and to have our needs met. And, um, because we, you know, our parents of course didn't, um, meet our needs. They weren't interested. They're not capable. Many times it's just, they're simply not capable. So if you ask a narcissist, you know, could you, you know, give me a little empathy every now and then they'll be just like, uh, you know, um, and likely they'll, you know, they'll try to shame you so that they don't look, um, like they're incompetent or, um, they'll just say, well, I, you know, maybe it's like, well, I don't do that with my friends. You know, that's another common one. My friends and I do it this way. So, you know, um, yeah, it just, I just had this conversation, um, with a friend of mine and it's, and it was very nice. Like, I don't know if she's a, you know, full on narcissist, but it's definitely um, was hitting on a kind of narcissistic -y, um button with me. Um, it really reminded me of, um, you know, how my mother, you know, responded to me when I, when I tried to set boundaries and she was just like, well, I hope you accept me as I am. You know, narcissists will often say things like, well, I'm just old fashioned that way. And that's the way I like to do things or that's, you know, um, they'll, they'll just find some, um, or that's the way we do it in this group. And so this is how we do it. And, um, so your, it's like basically saying your, your needs are, are not valid. Your needs are not important. Um, you know, because instead, you know, they don't want to say, you know, actually, I'm incapable of, of um, respecting your boundaries, you know, um, they just, they can't do a lot of those things, like, have a reciprocal um, kind of conversation, or, you know, um, um, you know, show, yeah, show compassion, they just, they just can't, you know, um, but it's really important, I think, for us to understand is that, you know, you lived by your parents' unspoken rules. And many of those rules, of course, were like abusing you is okay, right? Controlling, abusing, manipulating um, you is okay. And of course, that's, that's not okay. And so when you start speaking up against that um, and saying, you know, please don't say that, or please speak like this, or please don't do that. Um, or I need such and such, you know, they're going to, they're going to protest and, um, they're, you know, going to come up with their, their excuses or their weird stories about why they can't do it. Um, 
are they, you know, yeah, as I said, they might just, you know, make it seem like it's so, so troublesome for them to, to try and um, meet your boundary when you've actually been doing it their way for maybe years, you know? Um, and um, yeah, so, you know, they have their way of doing things, right? And it's like 90% of it or 99% of it is unhealthy ways of doing things, right? So when you start to change and you start to go like, but I want to do it this healthy way, you know, this more evolved way, um, you know, they'll, they just, yeah, they just can't, um, they just can't do that. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to, to put that out there today to, to make it clear that, that you have every, every right to, to speak up your boundaries and to have your needs met and, um, you know, um, speak up your boundary. Like, you know, it's like, own it, you know, like I need, you know, blah, blah, blah. I require blah, blah, blah. And really like just own that. <clears throat> and, um, and if the person that you're, that you're with your friend, your spouse, your mother, your father, whatever, um, if they can't do that, then, you know, there's, there's little, where do you go with that? Right. Um, because authentic relationships require, you know, a mutual respect and, um, you know, we're all humans. We've all been traumatized and everybody has triggers and everybody has needs. Right. So it's, um, it's a healthy thing to have boundaries in a relationship, boundaries that are, um, you know, spoken up clearly and, and, um, yeah, honestly, and, um, yeah, so I hope this has made sense. I am trying to get these videos out right now. I'm honestly kind of struggling, um, but I'm, I'm okay. You know, it's just, it's hanging in there. It's like, um, yeah, it's, it's tough sometimes. So, um, I'm, I'm sending out love to all of you guys, um, all you people, all you wonderful human beings and highly sensitive souls out there that are also, um, you know, maybe in, in some emotional pain today or, or just having a hard time. So, um, yeah, I am Davina Shamaya and I am sending you many, many blessings on your journey of healing and awakening. And, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your comments and, um, you can find me at Boldness Blooming. Thanks.